Hey, what's going on, everyone? Today I'm going to do a quick unboxing of the SanDisk Extreme portable SSD 2 terabyte that I got from Film Tools. And I'm going to hey, give you guys a second to log on here. I just want to make sure I have audio. Good. Um, so shout out to Film Tools for hooking me up with this awesome SSD that you see here. Um, I was able to get it through a giveaway that they did. And you can see in the uh, basically the Twitter feed that they're letting me know that I won. I was so happy. So I actually uh, just sent them a couple pictures of uh, what they sent me. Um, basically, they sent me a note, uh, two stickers, and the hard drive, which is available on their website. So if you want to go to filmtools.com, uh, you can go ahead and get this hard drive here. It's three ninety nine nine nine, and it's a USB three point one uh, Type C external hard drive. So I'm going to try to go in as much detail as I can to give you guys the information you need for this. Uh, so let me go ahead and switch my camera here. So here is my camera, and as you can see, there's the note. And thanks again to Film Tools for providing me with this free hard drive in their giveaway. So if you aren't a follower on Twitter or Instagram, go ahead and follow them. And I also got some stickers here you can see. So that's pretty cool. But this is what we came for. So this is the SanDisk Extreme Portable SSD 2 terabyte, and very small package. I like that. Uh, so. It, I would imagine it's not very big inside of here. So let's see if I can take this little tape off here. Awesome. So let's go ahead and open this up for you guys. And let me know in the comments what you think. If you've shopped with film tools at all, I have actually done quite a bit of shopping in the past. Um, right now I'm in San Diego, so I don't frequent there as much as I should. But Film Tools is has pretty much everything you would need as a film store. Um, I know I've bought some C, like a C stand from there, um, a, a tripod head, a sandbag, and some other you know auxiliary stuff. But basically, this is it. So it's tiny. Like this is really small. If you compare that to my hands, my hands are obviously a little larger than most people, but this thing is really small, really minute, which is kind of cool. You got the little bit of warranty information here. So there's that. And then we have the USB-C cable. So you can see that you can just plug this directly into the hard drive here. And then we have very small, compact uh, setup here. So it's pretty awesome. Sorry, I'm trying to get it to focus for you guys. Um, but yes, for my purposes, I'm going to actually need this to use this little adapter here. It looks like a USB uh, C to USB A adapter. And so, what I want to do is go ahead and do a speed test. So, um, actually, yeah, so let me go ahead and I'm going to switch my view here. So, I'm going to unplug my camera real quick. All right. So, I just unplugged my camera. Which, by the way, if you're wondering how I'm doing this, I have a video about how to use Canyon's EOS webcam utility beta in my other videos. Um, so let's go ahead and open up another screen here for you guys so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to share my screen so you can see the tests. So let's go ahead and share this. 
All right. So what I have done is plugged in the USB drive to my computer and I am going to select the target drive. And it's obviously going to be this one here. So the extreme SSD. And then I'll start the test. And then we'll be able to see uh, the performance of this particular device and how well it can handle, you know, different types of uh, applications, whether you're using raw video or uh, just regular video, HD video. So it's looking like on the right, you could pretty much do anything as far as writing to this disc. So say you had, you know, a black magic camera or a Z cam and you wanted to go straight to hard disk, this would be a perfect solution for that. As you can see, um, it goes all the way up to, if we look at the cinema DNG raw, it goes up to 4K 30 for read and then for write also 4K 30. And then if you want to do ProRes 422 HQ, you can do 4K 60. And then if you're looking at doing 10-bit uh, YUV 422, you can do 2K DCI 25 frames a second. So that's kind of what you're going to expect to have from the performance of this hard drive. Um, pretty killer little thing going on here. Um, I did leave a link in the description if you guys want to go ahead and check this out. Uh, just because, you know, I feel like if you're going to, someone's going to provide you with something, you should at least give them a shout out. So if you guys haven't already, go check out Film Tools. They are the ones that provided me with this awesome little hard drive here. And make sure you subscribe to them on Twitter and instagram i don't know if they're on youtube i think they are but yeah go go ahead and check them out and we'll go ahead and end this broadcast but thank you so much for tuning in feel free to subscribe leave a comment um look forward to seeing you guys in the next video all right see you later